I was asked to make a video on how to make a picture slideshow using Windows Movie Maker for Windows XP. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do in this video. Okay, the first thing I'm going to have you do is create a folder with the pictures that you want to make into a slideshow. So here on the desktop I've placed the pictures folder called Pics and I just put a couple of pictures in here that I downloaded off of the internet and these are the pictures that I'm going to make the slideshow out of. Next we have to launch the Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to go ahead and open it through my start menu here. Okay, now that the Windows Movie Maker is open, I'm going to just show you a couple things about this program. This area here is what we call the collections area and um, what you put in here is the pictures that you want to make your slideshow out of and then from here you can then drag the pictures down to this bottom part which is called the storyboard and that may seem like kind of a clumsy process and it is um, this piece of software at least for, for the Windows XP version anyways is really not a good program um, and if you're going to be using this for video editing of any type you're really going to want to get a different program but for the purpose of making a picture slideshow it'll do just fine to begin you gotta go under step one which is capture video and you'll see one of the options is import pictures so give that a click and that'll open this explorer window which you can use to browse to your folder my folders on the desktop so I'm gonna hit the desktop button go under pics and here are the three pictures that I'm going to make my slideshow out of. I'm going to highlight them all and click import. Now that all the pictures are into the Windows Movie Maker, we can now put them into the storyboard. So I'm just going to click, drag and drop each image into a tile in the storyboard. Now, the default setting for each picture is to go for 5 seconds. If we do a preview over here, you'll see each picture will play for 5 seconds. Now, that's going to be pretty suitable for this video, but if you want to adjust the, the timing, click on Show Timeline here, and select the image you want to adjust, and when the cursor turns into a red arrow, you can then drag the length to a different length. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave them all at 5 seconds. If you want to, you can add effects and transitions to your videos, which is found under Step 2. So if you click on Video Transitions, you'll see a whole list of different transitions that you can put to transition your pictures with. If you want to preview one, click on it and then go to the preview window and uh, hit play and that will give you an idea of how it's going to look. If you want to use one of these transitions in the slideshow, click and drag it into um, in between one of the pictures. I'm going to put that one for the first picture and then I'm going to take this one and put it on the second picture. Once you've got your uh, transitions in there, you can preview it by clicking play on this window on the right here. And that will show the transition from picture to picture. If you're done working with the transitions, the next thing we need to do is save it to the computer which you'll see under finish my movie here it says save to computer click that link and you will get this save movie wizard here first thing we need to do is give it a name I'm just gonna call it movie 123 for now then the next thing you need to do is select where you want to save it 
I'm going to save it to the desktop folder for now. So I'm going to select OK and then I'm going to hit Next. This next window is going to give you the options to save your movie as different file types. And now the default is best quality for playback on my computer, uh, which is a, as you can see down here, is only 640 by 40 pixels. That's very small for pictures. So I'm going to go under other settings and I'm going to select this bottom one here. It's called video for local playback. That's going to give us a 720 by 480 pixels resolution, which unfortunately is the best that Windows Movie Maker for XP offers. It's still not very good. It's not HD, but it'll have to do. Once you've selected that, you can go ahead and hit next and uh, save the movie here. Now depending on how many pictures or how long your video is, that could take a few seconds like it just did or that could take a few hours. Uh, it also depends on how powerful your computer is. Now we're done making the movie. Um, I'm going to leave that option selected and hit finish so we can watch the video now. So the video looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can see on the movie I'm making here um, through the camera that the quality is not fantastic um, but unfortunately these are the limitations that we have uh, with Windows Movie Maker for Windows XP. Once you've rendered the video you'll be back at the main page here on Windows Movie Maker when you go to close it, it's going to ask you if you want to save the changes you made to this project. Now, this this changes that it's talking about is the storyboard down here, not the actual video. If you go ahead and hit no, your video is still going to be saved wherever you put it. Um, here's the video. Um, now you can see with the way it's playing now that the video is rather small. But again, those are the limitations of the Windows XP Movie Maker. Uh, there's nothing you can really do about that. Alright, so that's going to be the conclusion of this video. I hope that answers all your questions on how to use Windows Movie Maker for XP to make a picture slideshow. Leave any comments or questions or future topics that you have in the comments below. Over and out.